Hi guys and welcome to Steel Rhino. Uh, I'm Mike and on this episode I'll be going through changing this engine so we're going to be putting an extra coil in uh, to give it more output to charge batteries to run lights etc. Uh, I'm going to be putting a Makuni um, throttle body on here as well uh, which will be removing all of the governor uh, so I'll make a separate video for removing the, the gather, which is basically a rev limiter, so it limited, limits it to about 3,600 rev. Um, so I'll make another separate video just on that alone. Um, and then I've got a new exhaust system to put on it um, as well. So let's get into it. So basically we're going to start with removing the tank and uh, the air filter and the exhaust. So the tank is just held on by four bolts. everything a bit clearer. Um, so this is your throttle body. Uh, we'll be changing that to a Makuni, uh, which will just give it better throttle response and a bit more power. Um, so your governor is this arm here. So what that does is when you pulling on the throttle, it will get up to about 3,600 revs, then this spring will kick in, which will then turn the throttle down, and just basically it just keeps it on that limit, and you won't be able to go over 3,600 revs. So you can remove that, um, and then it lets it rev up to about 5,000. Um, but I do not recommend doing that without getting a billet flywheel um, for these engines which goes in here because they run a cast iron flywheel um, and they have been known on a rare occasion to get cracks and then explode. Uh, so if you are going to take off the governor I highly recommend to put a billet flywheel. I will put a link in the video below um, for them and they're pretty expensive but if you want your engine to last and you want to be safe, highly recommend buying one of those. And I'm going to show you how to 
put a secondary coiler, which could be more uh, amperage, so you can run a battery and lights and anything else that you'd like to run with the power. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, one there, and one there. Right, so I might just take this cover off first and just show you. As I'm going to be changing this to the cooling car, uh, I'm just going to take this off from now. So, if you're watching my uh, government re removal video, this is what I said you should get. Uh, swap this cast wheel out for a billet aluminium fiber. So the bolt that holds the flywheel on is a 24 mm That will need to be talked up to the manufacturer's specs. Then we'll put it back on. Right, now, this just needs a little tap, so put the nut back on. Just gently pry behind the wheel. Give it a little tap. see if that cracks and that'll do a fair bit of damage. So on the inside here we have two plates and these are used for charging the coils up. But as you can see on the engine we only have one coil at the moment. So they do give you bolt holes for a secondary coil. So that's what we're going to do now. So <laughs> these coils you can get off Amazon or Trade Me in New Zealand. Uh, for hardly anything. I'll put a link to these uh, on the description below. Just the case. Pull it straight up. So I'll just go for a little bit of lock tight on these pots. So now I've just put a couple of cable ties to hold that cable out of the 
way of the crankshaft. And then you can see here there's a clamp holding the other wire and a little plate here holding the wire and then a rubber grommet. So we just gotta loosen both of those off and leave this cable through in the same direction. Slide it back in, and there's your cable for your know, charging for your battery. Uh, later on in the video, once this is on the car and I'm doing all the electrics and wiring all the lights up and everything, I will show you how to remove this and move it into the cab of the go kart so you can use that as your. Uh, ignition switch, emergency stop, and just to extend all of your cables to wherever you want that located. So I'll show you that in a later video. Uh, so now we'll put all of this back on. So it's a case of getting the wire on here. Load it back up. So now we'll put this wheel back on. Uh, I've got this set up correctly. Uh, all I use on that is I put a cable tie around in between there and it sets the gap up for the spark uh, every time this comes around. So now we'll put this fan back on. Then the cup, full start cup. These can all only go on one way because there's um, parts to line them up. This is a lot easier to do when it's on something. I might even make a mount on this bench to bolt these engines down.
now we can put the cover back on. Now we can put the pull start on. So you can fix this whichever way you want. If you've got stuff in the in the way of the engine and you've got one particular place to go, you can just sever that so you can pull it to pieces. But for now I'm just going to put this back on how it was. Right, and that's how to fit the charging cord. Hi guys, so thanks for watching. Um, basically, this video is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I was hoping to get the coil and then hoping to get um, all of the stage one mods, the exhaust, the McCoon carb, everything all onto the same video. Uh, but this one is already at 16 minutes without any of the rest of the stuff to go on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this video here and then I'm gonna make another video which is just purely all of the mods going on. So you exhaust the McCoon carb, uh, the fuel line, fuel filter, um, everything, the tank going back on, all of that stuff will be in the next video which I'll hope to get out in the next couple of days. So, uh, thanks for watching, hope this helped. Um, if you're trying to put a coil on to get extra charge and stuff, so if you could uh, leave a like, go and subscribe to the channel if you uh, like what I'm putting out, put it, ugh. if you like what I'm putting out. Uh, then yeah, please let me know, put some comments, uh, I'll try and link as much stuff as I can in the description, um, but yeah, thanks for watching, see you next time.